Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. A uh, very interesting article came out today that caught my attention on Israel National News, and I wanted to share that with you. It is entitled, Putin Angers Turkey by Referring to Ar Armenian Genocide. Those of you that may not know, during uh, 1915, 100 years ago, the Ottoman Empire was in a battle uh, with Russia, and of course there were hundreds of thousands of people killed, naturally on both sides, but it was quite evident that the uh, Turkish Empire, the Ottoman Empire at the time, uh, was in this to genocide the Armenian. The uh, Armenians are, are typically a Christian people, and they were definitely slaughtered in this battle. Um, the article says here, Turkey has continued to quarrel with other countries over the definition of the mass killings of Armenians in 1915. Russia on Friday became the latest country to be condemned by Turkey after President Vladimir Putin referred to the genocide during ceremonies of the mass killings. <clears throat> the Turkish foreign ministry responded to Putin's comments by saying, according to AFP that is, we reject and condemn uh, Putin's characterization of 1915 events as genocide despite all our warnings and calls. If you're guilty, repent. You know, just repent of it. If you're guilty, repent. You know, but, but the thing is, it doesn't look like there's much of a repentance. It's more like, uh, okay, we did it, get over it, let's move on. Uh, anyhow, it says here, speaking earlier at a ceremony in Armenia, Putin referred to mass killings, but also once used the word genocide. Well, I guess it was an oops in there, right? Which Turkey strongly objects to, while uh, m mentioning that Moscow is partly to, uh, party to several international legal initiatives, uh, including a convention against genocide. Such political statements, which represent a clear violation of law, is considered null and void by Turkey, the minister said. Uh, uh, and Kara also said Russia, insistent on the mistake, would not help peace and prosperity, urging Moscow to leave its biased attitude instead of encourage Armenian and Armenians uh, to respond positively to Turkey's appeal for friendship and peace. Well, it's nice to know that they'd like to have friendship and peace now, but it seems like underneath all of these things, Genocide is still on the forefront, as we see from the Western Ukrainians and the Eastern Ukrainians. Uh, instead of living in peace, they would rather just kill off all the Russian-speaking Ukrainians. Now, I'm sure that not all Western Ukrainians share that same sentiment. I know that to be true because I have friends on both sides of this, uh, this particular uh, conflict. And I know those that I know on the Western side uh, certainly would rather see peace and not all the bloodshed. Um, anyhow, going on uh, into this article here is something else that really caught my attention. My father-in-law brought this to, to my attention before, but I just did not get this brought out. Uh, we also know that, uh, that, that uh, Pope Francis says Russia becomes just the latest country to be condemned by Turkey over the issue. Earlier this month, Pope Francis drew Turkey's wrath after describing the killings as the first genocide of the 20th century. Um, Turkey uh, summoned the Vatican's ambassador Ankara over the remarks and recalled the Turkish envoy to the Vatican. Turkish President Recap Tayyip uh, Erdogan responded with anger to the Pope's remarks, warning him not to repeat such a mistake again. He's a brave man, isn't he? I, I guess in one way I kind of appreciate... Uh, his anger towards the Pope. Now, nonetheless, if you're guilty of genocide, you're guilty of genocide. But I appreciate the fact that he's willing to stand up to the Pope of Rome, because one thing I can agree with him on there, I'll stand up against the Pope of the Rome any day of the week, because he is guilty of genocide. At least the organization that he represents is guilty of genocide. And yes, the Turks may have been guilty of genocide in 1915, but the Roman Catholic Church under uh, uh, Pope Pius XII but you've got a nice big giant statue of Pope Pius XII there in St. Peter's Basilica, which you can see here. Uh, and yet they honor this man as if he's some kind of great hero. But he sat there and condemned the Jews to death under Nazi Germany as he made a covenant and a pact uh, with, with, with the Nazis, with Adolf Hitler there. And of course, uh, the genocide of six million Jews went to their death as a result of Pope Pius XII's uh, helping hand to the Nazis. 
and we could go to the Spanish Inquisition where it first began for them. We could go back even to the uh, to the genocide of women under the Catholic Church's uh, popes who murdered all the different women and stuff uh, that they considered to be witches, and entire communities were totally wiped out. So it's funny how pot calls kettle black, as mom used to say. Pot can't call kettle black when they're just as black as the other one. They're just as guilty as the other one in this case here. And, uh, and even Russia under Stalin, Mussolini, oh, excuse me, not Mussolini, but Stalin. And um, of course, Mussolini also was, was guilty in killing the Jewish people. But Russia has also had their own issues against the Jewish people. Uh, I thank God that Putin has seemed to have a change of heart towards them, and I can only say it'd be nice to see if he would do that in, the, in regards to Iran. But it seems to be about money no matter where you look. And it doesn't seem that people really care about the Jewish people. As we know from biblical prophecy, all nations will come against Israel. So it's only a matter of time before everything turns into a big mess. Anyway, I'm Stephen Benu. You are watching Israeli News Live. Shalom and good evening and Shabbat Shalom as we are here on the Sabbath.